Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Medal of Honor. When we last left off, we were setting up to infiltrate uh, the enemy production facility of uh, U490 something. So, let's continue with that. The Hunter's Den. The production facility is full of things that can explode. So be careful where you shoot and be mindful of where you're taking cover whilst under enemy attack. You have four main objectives. Find U4901, Zengin specs. Procure its whole blueprints and destroy the facility's sea door controls so they can't launch a pursuing sub. And finally, locate and board U4901. U4901 is truly a monster. They had to build a special dry dock at the edge of the facility just to construct it. A source we have within the production office says that they're only a couple of hours away from launching the sub for its first sea trial. You must be on board as it heads out to open water, otherwise this mission would have been for nothing. You'll come across different U-boats in various stages of construction. Keep going until you hit the last sub. That's U4901. It's by far the biggest boat in the yard. You'll know it when you see it. I also have it on good authority from our sources that despite the grime and filth on the production floor, the foreman who build the sub-engines insists on using one of those expensive fancy roll-top desks. Interesting. Right, well, let's go ruin these engineers' day, shall we? Shouldn't be too hard. Sinking a massive sub. How hard could that possibly be? It's actually not too bad. It's actually quite a fun mission, this one. Right, okay, Mr. Patterson. Let's get out of here. Let's get our sneak on. Hello, sir. Nice day to be shooting you in the brain. Anyone else in here? Let's keep our sneak on, shall we? Alright, okay, so we can go that way, or we can go that way. We've got two choices to go. Uh, let's go this way for now. Sneak. Oh, hello, sir. What are you doing? Skulking around. Sitting down on the job. Honestly. Can't get the staff these days, I guess. Damn it. Damn it. Here we go. How did you shoot me? How did you shoot me? You stinking goit. Well, no matter. We got him. That's all that counts. Actually, uh... Oh, hey, pal. Oh, God. No, no. Panic. Don't panic under pressure. Don't panic under pressure. Oh, fuck. Hello. That was a lucky shot. Yeah, there's actually uh, quite a lot of health on this level, which is good. Because <laughs> we're probably going to need it. Right, let's have a sip of the good stuff. And continue around. Oh, look. There we go. We've got field surgeon kit right there. We're going to leave that just in case. Um, now. Is that all that's here? Huh. Alright. Well, a canteen, a couple of kills, and a field surgeon kit. I suppose that's not too bad. Alright, let's keep going, Patterson. We've got work to do. Lots of work. The murderous kind of work. You know. Hmm. This place crawls. Although it doesn't. So, ignore me. Oh, hello. Wondering where you were. I thought there was an enemy as soon as we came into this building. Now, oh, hey, friend. Please don't set the alarm off. You know what, actually? It doesn't matter. You can waste your time setting the alarm off instead of shooting me in the face if you want. That is up to you. Oh, hello. <laughs> hey, be a shame if someone snuck up behind you and shot you in the back of the head. Oh, wait. No, it wouldn't. It would be called Victory. Alright, this place looks pretty clear. Got some nades. Ah, and an officer. An officer that is dead. Now, the more I've been using this uh, pistol, the more I actually quite like it. We got some good bullet. Oh. Who set the alarm off? Who did that? Own up. Let's stick a potato masher up your arse. Although I won't, because we'd probably just get hurt if we did that. You're dead. Yeah, this gun is crazy accurate. Which is probably why I like it, to be honest. 
now. We need to find an alarm and shut that damn noise up. Oh, hey friend. Uh, buddy? Hello? Allow me to wake you from your slumber. Yeah, unfortunately, if you don't get, like, a kill shot with this gun, it's very weak, but, eh, I enjoy using it. Alright, let's get rid of the bloody alarm. Ah, I can hear myself think again. Ooh, hello. Ah, well, there's the fancy desk, so there's the specs that we were looking for. And a nice canteen. Excellent. Alright, this place looks clear. Let's move on. Ooh, hello. Octong? Oh, right. On my... Oh, shit. On my personal game... Uh, or my practice save, I should say. I've got them speaking American. Or English, actually. Where are you crawling to? And it's actually quite interesting, some of the stuff they say. I will actually swap it over to the, Amer uh, to the English version. Because they do seem to say level-specific stuff. Which is really cool. Ah, there's a med pack there and some nades. We might as well grab the nades, I suppose. Now, there's loads of barrels everywhere that do indeed explode, but it's not really a problem. Uh, we'll leave the med pack there. We're not really that injured. We can always come back through the level and scoop up uh, meds as needed. Alright, we're clear. We're clear. Check those corners. Ooh, hello. Sleep on the job. Oh, this guy actually heard us. That's some kind of like a rarity in this game. No matter. Ah, we've got some blueprints over there. And we've got this sucker hiding. Oh, he's seen me. Boom, maybe. I actually kind of... Also, I'm starting to enjoy this rifle. It's not very good. But it does sound quite nice. Right, let's grab the blueprints. Um, blueprints, thank you. Nice. Now, I think there's some stuff down here, but we don't need it. Yeah, there's another field surgeon kit. Holy shit. Alright. Want to be careful going down here. Hey, pal. Did you just call me a buffoon? Or a buffoon, I should say. And please do not waste all of that ammo. Okay. Uh oh. I would rather you kept that ammo in your gun for me. If it's all the same. Right, we've got a split here. Let's go down this way. Ooh, hello. Ooh, canteen. Don't matter if I do. I suppose we can always take those. Oh, hey, friend. Nice. Ooh, hello. Ooh. Literally shot him in the ball. So you got, like, shot in the shoulder. Shot in the, like, collarbone area. Then shot in the balls. Oh, my condolences, sir. Come on. There we go. Alright, let's go nuke that. Oh, come on around the corner if you think you got something to prove, friendo. Come on. I got this Walther P38 with your name on it. There we go. So satisfying to use this gun. And, and I think that's like one thing that really rings about this game. Like, the gunplay really has held up rather bloody well. I think the way the enemies react, the sound of the guns, and like the very weighty animations of the enemies as they're dying and reacting to shots is really freaking good. Surprisingly so. Right, we're going to leave him there. Hey, buddy. You got some more pistol ammo for me? You're a hero. You're a hero of the modern times. And you, my friend. Sit down. Who else? I think there's another guy on this boat somewhere. Hello. He doesn't know what he's doing. Yeah, I, I definitely think... Um, this gun should be a one-hit kill. It should definitely be better than it actually is. Especially if you hit them in the head. Like, it shouldn't matter if they're wearing a helmet or not. Really? 
<laughs> really? Dude! Calm down! Oh god. There we go. Say, I don't know if there's a way of actually shooting up and over that. We got it. Alright, not bad, not bad. Let's keep grinding. Anybody down here? I think there is. In fact, I know there is. We can smell the Germans a mile away. Alright, what have we got going on? Ah, you actually heard me, sir. You are almost worth killing. But now, there's one thing that's quite annoying about uh, fighting down here, and I might be able to illustrate it when we go down there in a minute. I think it's like it's like 40 enemies or something on this level. Yeah, I can hear them downstairs now. We can hear them. Don't just smell them. Right, let's go pay these guys a little bit of a visit, shall we? We've got a lot of like SMG ammo. Let's get some nades down there. See if we can... Didn't quite work. Yeah, let's see if I can get this to trigger. Let's kill you. Alright, let's leave him there. Let's. There's loads of medkits, so we can waste a little bit of health there. <clears throat> if we go around this sub. Yeah, check this out. Is it going to work? Yeah, he can actually shoot through this. The hull of this submarine. It's. Interesting. No hit to... Yeah, he's just shooting us through the sub, which is kind of annoying. Like, notice his bullets, like, spread out. Almost looks like he's shooting us from above. Oh, hello. Yeah, make sure you do come down here, though. Come on. There we go. Rocked his world. All right, gimme, gimme, gimme. Don't want the field surgeon kit. That's fine. Now, if we can find ourselves a ladder, we can get the fuck out of here. <sighs> and at last, there was peace. Because all the Germans were dead. Right, let's go up here. How many are we up to now? 33. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, I'm sure there's like 40 on this level. But that's fine. We're going to leave the field surgeon kit there. There's now like three. We've got like three plus uh, a med kit. So, we can get killed. Well, with Field Surgeon Kit, heals 50% health. And Med Kit does 25% health. So, there's like 1.75 um, reloads of health, so to speak, on this level so far. Which is pretty nice. We do like our health. Hey, friend. There you go. Call that between his teeth. Like a good boy. Oh, make that like two full reloads of health. We're up to now. Now there's our bird. Or our bass, I should say. The submarine. That we'll be taking for a test spin. More or less. Ah, we've got more bloody sauerkraut munchers there. Now, to me, this doesn't look a huge amount different from the last one. But if you notice, it's actually in water. So, we can actually shoot it as well, which is interesting. I always remember I used to try and shoot this sub quite a lot. I was like, man, if I shoot it loads, it's going to fill with water and then sink. Because, you know, back when I was a kid and uh, stupider than I am now. Yes, believe it or not, there was a time where I was less intelligent than I am now. Uh, and I thought anything could happen in a video game. But alas... Not quite. Why am I getting the feeling that we've missed? No, 40 enemies. Okay, cool. That was short and sweet. Uh, we might as well grab that med kit whilst we're there. Get Patterson all patched up and happy. Um, right. So now we've just got to get on board. <laughs> sneak, sneak, sneak. Sneak on board. I'm in your base killing your dudes. Look at the gun turret on this thing. Hmm. Probably like a dual 30 mil or something. Something frightening. 
if you was a an aircraft, not so much against a ship. Also, I, I have been called into work to do extra hours. So at the time of this video, I've got a 56 hour week. So there's no point me even mentioning because I don't know where I'm going to be uploading this because I've got a choice of four LPs. Hmm. Um, but yeah, so I might be slower to respond to comments more slower than usual during this this week but as always i will get to all of them it just sometimes takes me a little bit of time um right so we got excellent excellent skull monkey let's save it but what we're gonna do we're gonna have the the german uh no the english voices because some of the stuff they say is really cool and uh like i said before um I never heard the um, real voices, or the real voices, it's like German, German's not a real language, I mean the uh, actually what they were saying, and it was quite surprising, in a good way, it was really interesting. So let's go to secret codes, and we'll put American English. Movie Mode on, cool. Alright, and what we do is save the game again. That way, if I forget, uh, that will constantly be toggled. Uh, there we go. Alright. I'm very much looking forward to... Uh, to Metal of Honor Underground. Uh, I have also just bought a new Dreamcast. I say a new one. It's uh, untested and sold as spare parts. Uh, but Dreamcasts are bloody expensive. But with mine and the one that's arriving, if there is anything wrong with the new one that I'm getting, because it's untested. It doesn't say it's faulty. It's just untested. Um, hopefully between the two I can make one working one. Anyway... Let's advance. Dive! Page one. You made it just... You made it on... Just... You made it on just in time. I was like, wait, that's bad English. No, it's not. I'm just retarded. You'll be starting at the stern, right above the engine room. Go down a level and make your way forward towards the bridge. Our contact said that the boat launched just minutes after you sneaked aboard. They thought that the whole facility was under attack by the Allies. You must have caused quite a commotion on the production floor. Yeah, we killed 40 guys. Your goal is now to scuttle the ship. Since we don't want this to be a suicide mission... Well, that's, that's touching. I'm quite happy about that. The OSS has devised a somewhat daring plan that will destroy U-4901, but keep you alive. Step one, radio your coordinates to the HMS Belfast, which is awaiting your signal. You'll only have a few minutes after you transmit for them to get a fix on you. Step two, now with the clock ticking, find the fin controls and set the boat to dive, then destroy the controls with a demo charge, locking the sub into a downward trajectory. Step three, and this is the critical part, blow the emergency ballast, which will temporarily surface the boat. Scramble up and get out through the conning tower before the ballast tanks fill with seawater, plunging U4901 to the ocean floor. Yeah, well, let's hope we uh, know enough about engineering to find all of these controls. But then if we remember, Mr. Peterson uh, was quite the smart cookie. Ah, much better. Um, Cloud, please, no. You've had all day to sit on me, right? All day. Actually, you have been... You were sleeping on me all last night as well. But now you decide to climb on. Hey, Chief. What's going on in here? Oh, pardon me. Right, you're dead. And we've got these two morons here as well. Even though we just shot their officer in the face. The back of the head. Oh, huh. there's a canteen right next to the toilet. Gee, I uh, <clears throat> I hope he was pissing in the toilet. Oh, hey, friend. Not 
at a huge amount of health on this level, so we do need to be a little bit careful. Hey, Fritzel. One in the dome for you. But it's not too bad. Okay, let's keep going. Right, that is everything here, isn't it? I think there's like 20 enemies on this level. No, 25, I think. It looks like we've got a lot to do, but we really have them. Mm-hmm. Let's go. Going down. This bit's a bit dodgy. Ugh. Come on. I guess we're climbing with our teeth again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sending me to the bilge. See? They're talking about nautical stuff. Because we're on a sub. Which is really cool, I think. Right, let's wait for these guys to come around the corner. Hey, friend. Boom. You sneaking around the corner. Look at him, you little creeper. Allow me to mute my phone. It's literally... Everything's muted apart from notifications. That's useful. Right, let's grab the SMG rounds. There's a lot of machinery here. It'd be terrible. Oh, if something happened to it. We've got a med pack there. Cool. Good to know. Come on, Peterson. Let's keep moving. Or Patterson. I would say Peterson. It's almost as bad as calling Lara Croft Laura Croft. Probably. Come yeah, man. Hear him. Get off my ship. My ship now, bitch. And I'm sending this thing to Davy Jones's locker. There ain't an awful lot you can do about it, pal. Ooh, hello. Wow, he just dropped like a sack of spuds, didn't he? Oh, this bit's dodgy. This is the bit I was thinking about. You can't aim whilst you're on a ladder, which is awkward. Ouch, ouch, ouch. This is not good. And the gun is not aiming correctly, as you can see. But that's fine. That bit is always a little bit delicate. Yeah, sometimes the game, the gun doesn't aim correctly, even though you're aiming at the enemy. Wow, we've got like 500 rounds for this. Let's use the SMG a little bit, shall we? There was... Oh, did we use that med kit as well? Damn, not good. Come on, guys. Yep. Allied commando, indeed. Here to ruin your day. Ooh, nice. Hey, pal. Sit down. Not literally. Sit down permanently and die. That's what I wanted you to do. Okay, it's flavor country through there. Okay. Uh, Cortana on my laptop has decided to do a, a search for flavor country for me. Not really that interested, to be honest, Cortana. Right, let's send the distress signal. Okay, this bit can get a little bit tasty. Evening! You should have been ready, my friend. You should have been ready. Kill him! I don't think so, my friend. I think you are the one being killed today. And you. <laughs> He's just like letting off with this pistol. Oh, hello. Damn it. Come on. Can be a little bit deceptive sometimes whether they're actually dying or not. Um, right. Right, Finn's locked. Now we're going to nuke the controls. <sighs> Boom. Good night. Uh, now we just got to blow the ballast. Kill 24. I think there's like one more enemy. Somewhere. Ballast released. We've got a timer now, guys. Oh, no. There's two more enemies. Although... There really isn't a time limit. You're fine. You're golden. Everything's gravy. Right. And with that, 26 kills. Sure only got 25 last time. Let's get out of here. Leave the sinking ship. Oh, only 24 minutes. Well, I'm going to leave this video here after this part. 
Triumph. Keep it up, soldier. Hey, we get a cutscene. Cloud? Eh. You? The unseen terror is always the most frightening. And if you were aboard a ship in the icy North Atlantic during the war, you experienced firsthand the dread of wondering if you'd ever make it to port. From facilities like Daxmark, hundreds of German U-boats were launched to hunt in their deadly wolf packs. But the Allies fought back. Sub-hunting planes searched endlessly for U-boat periscopes, and when they found one, the results could be devastating. Regardless of which side you fought on, this would be a horrible way to die. Yeah, that is pretty terrifying when you think about it. Especially if you were in the sub, because you wouldn't know. Like, unless you saw the plane coming, which is quite unlikely. You wouldn't know it was there until... BANG! Suddenly, the ship's filling with water and we're all drowning. Isn't that right, Cloud? Ugh. You're going to be a pain in my ass again. Why must you sit on me when you see the control pad or the keyboard? Huh? With your black toe beans. <laughs> She's getting angry now. Oh, let me sit on you. Your only purpose in this life is to ignore... Ignore? Annoy. Isn't it, Cloud? Silly kitty. Uh, she's getting old, bless her. Right, so we've got overall rating of excellent. Secret code discovered, C code list. And we got the medal, which is great. I'm going to save it. Oh. Right, let's drop down a save there. We should be like 45% through the game now, which is pretty good. It's actually a, quite a lot of game here, to be honest. I mean, I'm playing it through twice, sometimes three times, because it's so much fun. But even still, there's a lot of game here. Right, let's have a little look at the code we unlocked. What did we get? Secret code. We got the temperamental uh, toxin, which, yeah, um, a very odd way of basically saying... When you run up and push an alarm, or when the enemy runs up and pushes the alarm, uh, you might be able to hear the dog there go nuts, um, a random sound will play. Not necessarily an alarm. It can backfire, or sometimes it might be nothing. And uh, sometimes it might actually be an alarm. So yeah, a bit of a like random generator for the alarm, basically. Now let's go check out our medal. Let's have a little look. Um, what medal did we get? We got American Campaign Medal. Hmm. Right. Let's just check out our performance. What are we up to? We've killed three hundred and thirty-three Germans, which is weird because yeah, you can tell how much more I've played this game because of my other save. Even though now we're at the same place. I've killed over 500 Germans. <laughs> so, number of shots fired, 1949. 50% hmm. weapon accuracy as well. Better than I thought it would be. Right, anyway guys, thank you very much for watching, and as always, till next time.